And then uh, Adam Cole and Red Dragon have a championship celebration because they stole the championships. <laughs> and love this. This was hilarious. God, they're putting themselves over so hard. They walk out to the ring. They're so proud. They're posing with all the titles. You know, they didn't steal the titles, Adam Cole says, because you can't steal something that belongs to you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of going back on Kyle O'Reilly here in terms of, remember when I ranked them for our social media? Mm-hmm. Yep. Fuck, man. He was, uh, he was his promo was kind of awful. <laughs> but Bobby Fish was awesome. Yeah. And I'm like, man, O'Reilly maybe I would. Rough. Yeah, that was, it was a little cringy. Uh, I like Kyle O'Reilly, though. I'm not saying I don't. I'm just saying, like, when you're talking about on the mic, all three of those dudes, he was definitely the weak link there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, the three of them talk shit, so much shit about Hangman's, like, uh, about Hangman and, and uh, Jurassic Express. And then Hangman's theme hits. And the place pops so big. A huge <laughs> pop. And uh, Hangman comes out in a fucking tricked out cowboy Tesla. And it's yeah, basically just a Tesla with like big cowboy horns. It was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Yeah, this wasn't that cool. No. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it wasn't cool at all. <laughs> no, it wasn't at all. I was trying to be diplomatic, but there's no reason to. It was really lame. Yeah. Um, every time they use cars, I think it's lame. They did it with John Moxley one time. Uh, they do it with all kinds of people. I just think it's like really lame. But anyways, uh, I'm not a car guy, so maybe that's part of it. Big- Jurassic Express comes out. As uh, Cole Fish and O'Reilly uh, are retreating, so they like leave the ring and they're walking up the ramp backwards. And of course, Jurassic Express is there to kick their ass. But I'll tell you what I hate, Charlie. This is one thing because I, I had a great time watching it. I hate that they got their titles back on this show. It was I quick. wish it was one week. It was quick. It should have been played out. I mean, we just talked about how great the belt stealing thing gimmick yeah. storyline is and this one ended so abruptly abruptly but who knows maybe they'll steal them back next week and maybe that'll be the ongoing fucking thing which is not nearly as cool it's no. a weird back and forth just let them keep it and fucking flaunt them around every so often let them keep <laughs> it until you beat them and retain yeah and then the fucking ref will give you your belt you know what i'm saying unless it's all i mean i mean I, she's the listen. worst ref in professional wrestling <laughs> 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 fucking human foot <laughs> So no, 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 I the love thing Aubrey. Is, so, Aubrey is the best. Yeah, me too. Me too. But I mean, every uh, one of her match has no rules. So <laughs> yeah. Well, every ref in fucking AEW has no. I think rules, hers is fine. probably the most egregious, though. Literally, Billy Gunn interfered in something that would have been <laughs> DQable yeah. by any other standard. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Rick Knox who I'm thinking of, who's like definitely he does a lot of tag matches. He's the bald, like older guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and he fucking lets everything go. But yes, <laughs> the point is it's a problem in AEW, I would say. 